Hey, welcome to another part of Skate Attack. This time we're going to be going ahead and uh, doing the second part of Old Downtown. First, I need to go ahead and uh, get me a bit more of those little adrenaline packs, as well as go ahead and get the, uh, the million score thing. You know, get those side missions out of the way right now, not to worry about it later on. And, uh, yeah. Then we'll go ahead and actually do, you know, the fucking mission. Now, won't, I'm never going to show you me actually getting the score because, you know, it, it's not that interesting. All you have to do is just, like, keep doing tricks and you get the fucking thing done. Watching someone, like, complete a score goal as a side thing isn't exactly very interesting. i have to cut out all that shit because, really, it's a bunch of fucking filler. But what isn't filler is showing you me finding these fucking packs because I missed three and they're right here. But as for the other six, I can't find them. But we'll find them next part, don't worry. And as for the million, I'll be going ahead and jump cutting to when I get the million right now. So here I am, now just doing a whole bunch of points. You can see I am very close to the million. And there's a shit ton of vending machines all close together that, you know, yeah. And there you go. That is pretty much a side mission done. As well as one other side mission getting pretty closer and closer to being completed. So now it's time to go ahead and uh, see what our, you know, new missions are. And see what this game becomes a huge and entire dick. I'm not joking. The game becomes a dick here. Yep, we now have drones just flying all about old downtown. And now we have our mission. But we also have a new side mission. That we have two new side missions, but one of them is currently locked with the uh, first one we got now. So, what are these side missions? Well, the side mission we have currently is this one fly 400 meters on a glide drone. Yes! You know that thing we got that we used to sketch on cars? That laser thing? We can use them on drones. And we can jump off drones by jumping. But for the most part, we can ride on them. And if we go higher and higher, the speed goes down to the point where they just fall down and explode. And they're not very durable. If you hit anything, they explode. So! There you go, I got myself a nice little side mission thing, a new skater, because I got enough of the uh, metals. But, I think you can figure out now what we do with the drones here. So, considering you haven't played this game before, was that one of your thoughts? Did you think that we were going to get something later on which we can use to just blast into this fucking cactus that would be a drone that we would fly on the fucking laser gadget we got. Did you think that? Because, I'll be honest, I didn't. I thought I'd be like any other skating game in which we just skate on it or find some kind of little hidden thing that uh leads to the fucking thing being, you know, destroyed. But no. No, we just wait until we, you know, go through the first quarter of the fucking free quarter of the level. And you know, we just fly we just fly drones into this. Yeah, you know, we just we just do this now. I mean of course, you know, this makes a whole lot of fucking sense, doesn't it? You have to go through a whole bunch of missions before you get some drones you can fly into a fucking cactus. And there you go! There you go, that is the side mission. And you can also go ahead and uh, get all the adrenaline packs here now too, because you need the drones for that as well. But uh, I can't find them in this part. Yeah, so I can't do them right now. But you know what I can do? I can do another fucking side mission, which is basically 
fucking flying this thing for a whole couple of meters. Which, we didn't see the side mission thing yet to find that. But yeah, our next new side mission is flying the drones more. Going more meters with it. And for me, I just want to go ahead and, uh, you know, check out all of the ones we can fly for. This is where you can touch the blimp, where you can do all sorts of shit. And, uh, yeah. It's a bit of a joke, honestly, once you get the drones, because now going around looking for shit and getting on top of rooftops and such have become extremely easy. Except if you bail once, you lose your adrenaline and you lose some health. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. But yes, this is the drone, and this is what we'll be using throughout all downtown a lot. This is literally the best use of transportation in the entire game. And you will be using this a lot more than you'll be skating. Sort of. And because you have drones now, the game has no qualms in forcing us to use drones uh, for quite a few missions right now. But right now I have to, you know, get the fucking meter thing out of the way because I gotta get that done, you know? So, after some time, I do get that. I got a gold drone thing there. That is actually it for that. And yeah, 1,000 meters. There you go. We can't do anything else right now, though. We can't do the bouncer thing right now, and I can't find the last six fucking packs. Plus, we have one more side mission, which is currently locked until later on. So, yeah. We're done with all the side mission shit for now. But next... Next part, we'll be going ahead and finishing up the whole side mission. Right now, though? Oh, right now, we're doing some fucking main missions, baby. And we'll be signing off the main mission that is going to be in this jump cut, because why not do a jump cut? So, yes, we're done with the drone shit for now. At least with side missions and exploring. We're not done with the drone shit with the main missions because we'll be doing a lot of main missions with the drones. Start with this one, which introduces it to us, in which we have to hit the bus six times the drones. And yeah, it tells us how you. It tells us how to use drones. Ain't that amazing? And yeah, you push up to avoid a crash, even though you're actually supposed to jump to avoid crashing. Yeah, it's... it doesn't make sense as instructions, sort of, but, yeah, all you have to do and know is you fly the shit into whatever you want, and you jump off before you crash, and you'll be fine. Otherwise, you take damage and you get fucked. By the way, if I decide to go through the drone I'm cur the um, objective I'm currently doing right now, and I haven't completed it before, you don't get the objectives. You are in the blank no matter what until you complete the objective the first time. And then once you have, if you didn't get all three medals, then you go ahead and you look at the uh, requirements to get your three medals, as well as your two medals, if you got one medal only. Yeah, that's, uh, that's really annoying, honestly. That is absolutely dog shit, because you just have to fucking guess. And I hate that. I hate that I have to guess what I'm actually supposed to do to actually complete the fucking mission. Like, it's not just completing the fucking goal. You have to do something else while doing the fucking goal, and it sucks. We got drone ride, and yeah, I got two medals. What the fuck time did I have to beat to get free? Well, I had to beat 46 seconds. And you have to be very fast to do that. You can't fuck around with this one. You have to be pretty on the ball of it. So, as you saw, drones do reappear after some seconds. There's a lot of time that's wasted though when you're trying to do that though, so it's not, it's not a great thing, but you want to go ahead and get rid of these four first. Then either you wait just a bit for those drones to reappear, or you go for this one and take them down 
right now for 15 before you go ahead and end the six hit. Do not fucking miss. And, uh, yeah, then you're done. Like so. And yeah, 40 seconds against 46. That's pretty good. Right, now it's time for the next mission, which is right over here. The U-Grind combo. Seems simple enough, you know, do a combo of grinding the whole entire rail and doing a rocket air at the end. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's, there's not much to it, you know, you just do this and boom, the goal's done. That's how it is in Tony Hawk and such. Nothing special out of it, you know. Well, fuck you, because guess what? You have to go ahead and get 10,000 points in order to actually complete that. So, not only do you have to go and do the combo that they want you to do, but they want you to do it while getting a big score. And they don't tell you this until you actually complete the thing. That is a bigger dick move than any other time they've done this in any other skating game. Any other skating game that's done this before, it never does it like this. This is dickish. This is pure dickhead. Seriously, fuck this. This game is a pure fucking dickhead, and it won't stop. It will just continue as you go on with this fucking st whole thing. In fact, here's the next dickhead move. The lip tricks in this game? Yeah, the hand plant is a special trick. The fucking hand plant. Lip tricks are special tricks. They are not normal tricks. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like that's kind of dumb. Also, I did it wrong, but somehow I get two in a row. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. All I do know is you'll easily be able to do it, no problem. And you know, there you go. There's your hand plant shit. And yeah, the hand plant is a special. And it tells you how to do it again. Thanks, game. Thanks for making lip tricks look even more worthless. That's good. That's really good. And now it's time for bowling time. So what is my bowling time? Well, you ride this drone through a whole bunch of rings, like Superman 64 style, into bouncers. So what exactly are I supposed to accomplish by doing this? Well, it's a special goal because there's a special requirement to gain all three medals. The requirement? The bouncers. You see, in order to actually complete this one, you have to actually destroy all the bouncers in one go. Because there are four bouncers in this entire mission, and you have to hit them all in one shot. This is a pain in the ass. Well, I got lucky, so I was able to do it. And yeah, that is that goal. It really does help on getting some more of the bouncer tokens, though, so I don't mind this too much. But yeah, that's it for that one little mission there. Very short and very unique because it's not a score or a time-based one. It's based on destroying bouncers. And I believe that's the only one that ever does that too. So, that's nice. Anyway, next up is the credit card combo. For some reason, Virus lost all his golden credit cards. I don't know why he dropped all his master cards all over the place. I don't even know why he has 10 master cards. All I do know is you have to go ahead and cut them all in one combo, and you cannot bail. But there's something else to this. And, uh... It's interesting. It's score. It's not time, it's score. And the score for this one is 90,000. 
And uh, this is where you get to learn from me one of the dumbest fucking things. Did you see that? Did you see what I did there with the special I just did? The uh, mick twist? Let's try it again, shall we? The misty flip, I mean. You see that? Yeah. And yeah, if you fail once and that's your first time failing, it'll tell you, it gives you a hint on how to restart the challenge. That's nice. But yeah. This is stupid. This is where you can actually abuse the scoring system in this game, where you can actually get a fuck ton of points, no problem, by spamming specials and then grinding or manualing while you're during the fucking, you know, animation of the thing. If you land, you bail, but if you manual or grind, you don't bail. I don't know why this is a thing. I don't know how they could fuck this up. But, yeah, like, as you can see, the game is just getting worse and worse as we go on with these missions. And it's not even my fault, it's the game's fault for how it's fucking handling its shit on the first level. And now we have to go ahead and grab some nasty yellow insignias. We already saw this before, back in the tutorial, which were green before, but now they're yellow, and there are five of them. And they're a lot more spread out, too. So, in order to get it for this one, we have to use drones, because they are very spread out. They are pretty much all over the fucking map, so go ahead, grab this drone, let's get the first insignia, then go down there and get the one right in the middle of the map. Then get the fuck out and get the third one, which is the other side of where you just were. Then get off and get that one over there, and then just keep going and get the last two in like a line, and that's it. You don't even have to ride the drone anymore, you can just like, with your special, go through the shit. And yeah, that's the entire goal, so you can do this much faster than I did, and it's very easy. There you go, Hippies in Sydney is. I got three medals out of that. So, now it's time to go ahead and do another goal. And uh, this goal is interesting. That, that's about the nicest I can say about this. Oh, by the way, even if you bail, your laser will still be active, so you can still use it to sketch onto whatever you want, even if you did crash your ass into a fucking car or whatever. That's nice. You can save yourself enough to worry about the animation. Anyway, secret surface time. This is a special secret challenge. We have to get all these boxes of robot birds, and we have to place them in these marked spots. Why? No idea. All I do know is that there are a few spots, five in fact, and uh, there's five boxes I've got. And it will keep telling you to get another box and get the spots. And it will not shop about it. And it is very fucking annoying after a while. It gets worse though. This is a timed one. And the time in this one is unnecessarily strict. I'm not joking with that. I mean, before you saw that, you know, the bus one, the very first one we just did in this part was, uh, you know, strict. You know, we only had a few seconds remaining. This one's worse. There, there's a worse one, but there's a much worse one. This is a third place, to be honest, but this is also pretty strict because you have a lot of time, as you can tell. You have, like, 110 seconds by this point. You have to keep, by the end of this, at least 170 seconds. Yep. You have to keep at least almost three minutes of time. If you do not have three minutes of time remaining, you do not get the third fucking medal. Ain't that a nice little thing for this game to give you? Just, just a big old middle finger because you didn't keep your fucking three minutes. You were a little too slow. Now you only have like a few seconds off, so you don't get it.
Yeah, the time to actually beat a minute 40. Minute 41. Let's go ahead and do that again. Again, you could just like do it, but it's strict because it's given you all this time and you can't use a whole lot of it. You have to go through this with only like a minute and a half, maybe, to use. Meanwhile, the game gives you 50 seconds every time you get a box into a clock. And it's encouraging you to take your time, but at the same time, it's not encouraging you. It's tricking you. It's putting you into a false sense of thinking that you'll be fine, they you can take your time, and there's no problem in the fucking world, and it's all scores and shit, and it's not. So the game is outright fucking with you while you're getting all this time, and you don't know it until after you've done the mission. That... That's dickish. That's pretty fucking dickish, you have to admit. And yeah, there's the full animation of the clock. That's nice. And I can't really get this uh, glide to be fine after grabbing that, because this shit. So, yeah. After that, I uh, pretty much just skate through, and I have about 170 seconds remaining. And there you go. 136. Five seconds remaining. There's one that is worse though. There's one that is much worse. We'll begin that soon enough. But right now, we're getting the target drone. The target drone is a unique drone. We already saw the drones let us fly around. The target drone is different though. The target drone, it doesn't move much. It does move like a little bit, a little inch, and it continues moving every time. But the, mo the whole point of it is you aim, you jump, and it fires itself into whatever you're aiming at. It's not very fast though, so you have to time yourself as well as aim, or else you'll miss. And uh, yeah, we have to hit five moving cars with these drones. The normal drones are gone for this mission. And yeah, it's another timed one, but can you guess how much time is needed in order to get this one done? Because 38 seconds is too slow. Too late, the time you need is 31 seconds. Half a minute. And that's actually pretty easy when you decide to actually hit two cars in a row every time. So if you can do this in three hits like I did here, Congratulations, you have beaten this fucking challenge. So, there you go. 15 seconds. Done. But now it's time to begin a really fucking annoying one. A really strict one. This sort of mission will appear, uh, not a lot, but it will appear at least a few times. It's not a one-off. And, uh, I hate it. It will appear in every level. Here is our friend, the Hippie. We have to drive, we have to race, drag, through old downtown, and there are a bunch of gas items we can collect, as well as some health. And, yeah. So if I might be thinking this is not too bad, I mean it's kind of awkward, but it's not, you know, a piece of shit. You know, it controls really awkwardly, really springy and shit, but it's not too bad. And then you grab the gas, and you start to meet the biggest problem with this. This shit's too fast for this, and you start going all over the fucking place. If you don't know where every gas canister is, and you don't have the route down fucking pat on when to push the direction and shit, you will go elastic-y all over the place, and you will be fucked. 
And the worst part is that as you hit walls and shit, your health goes down. So yes, you can lose a lot of health here. Luckily the game puts in a lot of health pickups around here as well as the gas in the line. But it's not exactly that great and they sometimes put the health just randomly all over the place to make you like miss the fucking gas, which is dickish. So that's great. But yeah, as you can see I'm not fast enough. But how do you be fast enough? First of all, we get a little message for doing the mission by, of course, the hippie. Which is a thank you and a goodbye. I love that little interlude music. But yeah, 1 minute 9 seconds. That's not fast enough. Do you know- well, do you want to know what is fast? 1 minute 6. So, you want to know how many gas you can actually miss during this? You want to know how much gas you can actually, like, completely miss, completely, but still be able to just make a minute six? Because I missed one so far. One. I missed two. There's a lot of them, there's at least like 30 of them, but I missed two. So, yeah, I'm getting them now, I'm getting a whole bunch of them actually. Getting them all on its line. Doing pretty good. I haven't missed another one yet. I haven't missed a third one. The hit detection's kind of weird, but, you know, I'm not missing them at least. I had to redo this a few times to get this as well, so it's annoying. I hate how this one controls so fucking much. But yeah, the entire time I only missed two fucking gas. What's my time? My time, after all that, is 1 minute 5 seconds. You can only miss two gas the entire time. That... Considering how that played, and considering how annoying it is, that's pretty strict and pretty dickish. I hate this. I hate that mission. And it will appear again in the next, in the fucking rest of the levels. But yeah, now time for the final mission, which he left something in the train station for us. And uh, he says if we can even make it because all the cars have been blocked off the road from going near the train station, as you can see. And only we can go inside of here. So what is waiting for us at the train station right now? Trouble. A lot of trouble. We're stuck here now. And we have to fight a mini boss. This is called the Big Ranger, and he's a powerful enemy. But, uh, as you can see, he only takes three hits. And, uh, it tells us to. The game tells us to find a way to move his positions where we can attack him. But what we're actually supposed to do is just keep going in drones and try to get right into him to deal a whole lot of damage and make him move. Now, that was the first hit and that was an easy hit. The second hit's bullshit. Because he will move up there. And the only way to hit him is to shoot him with this. And the aiming is really bad. And the droid, which is the only shooter droid in this entire area, is always, like, the opposite direction of the fucking thing you're supposed to shoot at, so it's annoying. And the worst part is that the moving drones are too low for us to actually, like, throw them up at him. There are some, you know, more bounces here we can destroy, which is nice. But there's something else that's annoying. That fucking bastard is actually going to be shooting these blue things at us. And the blue things will actually hurt us and get rid of our special. Yeah, it's a shockwave effect. 
It's annoying. But it's not too bad as long as you stay off the ground. Well, he will keep shooting rockets at us, which is annoying. And uh, he shoots a lot of rockets. So, how do you beat this? Well, you have to go and fucking take him down with a drone. You can't attack him any other way, as far as I know. And with the second spot, the second hit, you can only hit him with the target drone. You can't hit him with a moving drone. You can't hit him with just the glide drone. Oh, and even if you're slowed down, the rockets don't slow down. So yeah, slowing down is a curse in this one. Ain't that great. But if you're lucky and can hit him, then he gives you an easy spot for you to give him the final hit and ultimately beat him. So, hit him right now and be done with it. That took a while. But luckily the game was not that dickish to give us a very short time with him because once he beat the big ranger, 2 minutes and 38 seconds is enough to actually get 3 tokens. And that is it for part 2. So, yeah. Now it's time for us to go see our second referee and, uh, you know, get another piece of the medal and be that much closer to completing Old Downtown. Oh, and end the part, of course. Right, so what do you have to say for yourself, Ref2, being a dickhead? You don't believe it. Thank you for giving us the medal piece. And there you go, we're almost done. Yep, and that does mean that virus is pissed. Yeah. And there you go. So, that's it for part two. But first, let's check out part three real quick. You know, what we have in store for that one. The third ref tells us it's the hardest of the level. And uh, that's not a fucking exaggeration. Especially when he puts this in. Meets the laser eyes. They're not that bad, but they're annoying because if they see you, they will shoot you and deal damage. And yet, they're our final side mission. So next time in Skate Attack, we'll be finishing off part three. We'll be finishing off Old Downtown. We'll destroy all the laser eyes. We will get all the bouncer coins and we will get all the adrenaline packs. I'll see you then.